boss. You little pretty bitch calling off. Now she fucking with a boss. I throw it to you, Randy Moss. You might fumble on the toss, nigga. Nah, just fuck with y'all. What it do, man? It's Black and Latin TV. Y'all know what time it is, man. Today we gon' do something special. It ain't got nothing to do with no motherfucking hip hop news, no gossip, none of that. So, man, we gon' talk about the most underrated artists that I feel like, like artists just that just don't get the credit that they deserve. Everybody doing their thing, though. They don't mean that nobody ain't popping, ain't hot. I'm just saying, I feel like the fans in the industry, I feel like these niggas should actually be in the industry. Some of them is in the industry, but I feel like they could be in a little bit deeper, like knee deep in this shit, like no fucking game, my nigga. Some niggas more underground, really just popping in their city and a couple more cities, surrounding cities and shit like that. And they expanding their brand and they really getting on their grind. So shit, we gonna do this episode for them niggas. Me being one of them niggas, y'all know, y'all can make sure y'all go download the motherfucking album. On Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, all that shit. Link in the description. But we ain't gonna talk about me right now. I know what I do. Y'all better find out what I do. Go download that motherfucking album. Link in the description right now. But, uh, and this ain't in no order or nothing. Like, I ain't put this shit in order. You know, this shit just all over the place. When I pretty much just jotted down a couple names. This ain't everybody either. I'm gonna do a part two. So if I ain't say your name on this one, don't be... Feeling left out, but feel free to jump in the comment box because you never know if I was even. Uh, you might have really slipped my mind. You might not even be on the list for part two yet. They could switch up the list for part two. So drop drop whatever names in the comment box too if you feel like I left motherfuckers out. Uh, that boy Jay Green, man. Jay Green. Uh, I think it's 051, something like that. Jay Green. He's from the Florida area. Uh, I heard a song by him that I, I really like. Uh, called Love Scar. Jay Green been doing this thing. He uh, YNW Melly Associate. You know, they got a couple tracks and shit. They've been going hard. He was actually one of the first members of that YNW shit that they really had popping when it first started off. So, I, I'm kind of on the late show getting on Jay Green. I just started fucking with him when I heard Love Scars. Then I started backtracking hearing everything else he had. I'm like, dog, nice. And he one of them niggas who could really open the door. He got a certain, he got his own little lane. Like, I like what he do. He ain't crying too much on the track or doing none of that, but he still put his pain on that motherfucker. That shit's smooth. I like Jay Green. I feel like y'all should put some more respect on Jay Green name, so go look Jay Green up. I fuck with his music. FBA Raw Biz, that's one of my homies who go dumb, diddy, fucking dumb, dumb. He like a Rick Ross ass nigga or something. You feel me? My nigga come in aggressive as a bitch talking bullshit. He only spit facts in his raps. He talk Raw Biz come with all facts in his raps. Like everything he talk about, bro, he live that shit, bro. So go check out Raw Biz, especially on that wrist work. New car had to make my wrist work. New house had to make my wrist work. Oh, my mommy went crazy on this shit. Uh, uh, Ruger. I ain't gonna lie, I just found out about Ruger too. Uh, uh, he did a video with FBG Duck. I like his flow. He come hard. He nasty with it. He aggressive. He got wordplay. He know how to speed it up, slow it down. He dead ass serious with the shit he's saying. I fuck with Ruger, man. Shout out to Ruger for Shot Rack, man. So y'all make sure y'all go look up Ruger. That's R-O-O-G-A. Shout out to Ruger, man. Uh, another Shot Rack cat I fuck with. Polo G. Polo different. I uh I was hearing Polo before I even heard Funny Things. I heard him on I think it was that was it that Mini Man or No Mercy or some shit like that he had. Yeah, I think it was off that 50 Cent that uh that Mini Man. He was going crazy on that shit. But he didn't even really had an auto tune swag on that shit. He was just spitting that shit, and that's when I really was like, man, who the fuck is dog? Then under that video, I start seeing other shit. I seen that uh the Finer Things video. I was fucking with that. That's one of my favorite songs. Like, I whenever I'm in the car, I'm slapping it. Yeah, I know. Well, shout out to Polo G. I fuck with that Hollywood, that Battle Cry, the shit he did with Lil TJ, that pop out. That song right there, nasty. Like, shout out to Lil TJ too. He another one of them niggas y'all sleeping on. He from the NYC. I fuck with, I fuck with Lil TJ, bro. Lil TJ, he nasty with it. Like. He, he kind of remind me of Dirk, but he ain't biting flow. 
You feel me? He just doing this thing. He can't help it if that's how he coming. But I swear to God, TJ nice. I heard some shit. Uh, my favorite song by Lil TJ besides that pop out that him and Polo got. Because that's like a mutual favorite song. You know what I mean? For both of them that are mine. But I like that Lil TJ that long time. Free my guys. I ain't seen them in a long, long, long time. We gon' lie. That's the reason why I stay on my grind. So my mama TJ go crazy. Uh, okay, somebody from Milwaukee. I gotta put some respect on my nigga name. This my nigga personally. I fucks with my boy. P-I-A-L-A. Y'all know I got him on that many fresh, do it real big. But I think got plenty shit by itself where he going dumb. Like, you just gotta catch his voice. Once you get used to L.A. voice and you listen to the shit that he really say, bro, his wordplay fucking crazy, my nigga. He could really override a lot of niggas, bro. People would just pay attention, bro. Listen, my nigga. Like, stop, stop always just... Looking for niggas to be gimmicky and be fake on that 6 9 shit or that, uh, what's his name, skinny from the 911. On that skinny from the 911 shit, man, and get on that real shit, bro. Really listen to what niggas be saying. Because niggas really got some slick metaphor assemblies and all that shit, some punchlines that'll fuck your head up if you really pay attention. LA, one of them niggas I gotta listen to him like two, three times to really hear everything he said. I fuck with it. Besides that being my nigga and all that shit, I fuck with his flow for real. Uh, from Detroit, Dame Dot. I fuck with Dame Dot. Dame Dot, he more of like, he flashy, but he ain't too flashy. He gets straight to the money, straight to the point when he come on the track. My favorite song by Dame Dot, uh, Wide Open. I fuck with that Wide Open. I fuck with plenty. I've been fucking with Dame before he even, uh, just started like forever gutter like not personally i don't know dang person but i've been fucking with his music and bro he nice like since the teen east side days when it was all of them him snoop uh pz gt uh look perry man bro, i've been fucking with their music bro and dame always stood out to me and he make he makes some of his own beats a lot of his own beats too he made a lot of new beats that he was doing with them niggas too that's why i fuck with and speaking of Team Eastside, y'all know I can't leave Peasy out the situation. Peasy like a nigga with one foot in, one foot out. I don't know why he ain't just crossed all the way over and went mainstream. Because Peasy, a whole different type of rapper, bro. Like, he one of them niggas that deserve to be in the industry. Honestly. Peasy ain't no weak ass nigga, bro. Peasy got that spit, my nigga. Like, sometimes when I hear T Grizzly and shit, I hear. No, T Grizzly got his own flow, but I be hearing like some some of that PZ though on my life, bro. I like how PZ be coming and he talking shit. He flex on the nigga quick. He I mean, you feel me? Like he talk that bag talk, my nigga. You gotta fuck with PZ. If you ain't up on PZ, go get up on him. And the other PZ, O M B PZ. Uh, I forgot. What, I know you from somewhere down south. I don't know if it's Alabama or what. But O M B PZ, I fuck with him, dog. He got that song with Young Boy. That, uh, don't nobody love you when you doing bad. They forget about the times you had. Shout out to OMB Peasy, man. He another nigga. He go nasty like young boy go nasty. I don't know why the fuck he ain't. Y'all be blackballing it. It be something. I guess everybody ain't gonna get the. It gotta be. I guess. I guess. Uh, Don Q. From New York. That's a boogie guy. Stupid. He go stupid, bars. Like Don Q, one of them niggas, he bringing original hip hop back. He coming to chew your head off, like, he got his own swag. He kind of remind me of like Cassidy or somebody, but like with his own voice or somewhere like, uh, I don't know, I like them like Jada Kiss type flow, all that shit, like that New York shit, bro, that battle rapping sounds and shit. Hey, bro, it just, that ain't what's selling right now, bro, but anything selling that's hot with me, I'm buying it. Shit, y'all need to just open y'all motherfucking ears, bro, and just stop trying to be on a certain wave and shit. Some of that shit be hot, too, but y'all gonna broaden y'all horizon, man. Listen to some of these niggas I'm telling y'all about. Don't ignore nobody I'm telling y'all about. I'm trying to tell you, everybody where you want to go look up. Uh, Philly area, Poundside Pop. Poundside Pop. He got that, uh, that OSS. That was like one of his first videos to really hit a million, like like around last year sometime. So I started paying attention to him. Actually, one of my white boys, one of my homies, was from uh, Philly, 
And we had linked up in like Green Bay, Wisconsin and shit. And he was putting me with a lot of Philly artists and shit. And when I, you know what I'm saying? He was actually like, he, he said he went to school with Pop. He was gonna skate past the video, cause I guess he used to hearing the shit and shit. I'm like, man, go back, that shit cold. Bro, I heard that shit, I swear to God, my nigga, I ain't stopped playing this shit. I, I just played that shit before I started this shit, real shit. Shout out to Pound Side Pop. Uh, another Philly artist, Maddox. Maddox, you know what I'm saying? He a Caucasian kid, man. Uh, Maddox go crazy, dog. A little white boy from Philly, dog. Stupid. When I say stupid, though, like, he got his own little swag. He ain't, he got some niggas behind him, too. That's what's crazy. Like, Maddox got some niggas behind him. <laughs> Damn. I ain't gonna lie. I seen his interview on Say Cheese. I can't find it on my own. Where is that? But he had an interview on Say Cheese. He got some real niggas behind him. Shout out to Maddox, man. A little white boy from Philly. Stupid. And... On you know, my life, y'all can't sleep on Maddox because he already he he got a song with extension on. That's him on that uh ooh diamonds in my chain they looking blue. That's Maddox and my mom y'all probably didn't even know that. And he got a song with little Uzi, you know Uzi from Philly too. So Maddox climbing, man. Like I said, niggas popping already under the radar. Y'all just gotta really catch up. I'm up on this shit. I'm trying to put y'all on this shit, man. Uh. JD Youngin, man, from the Florida area, dog. What do you got that, uh, that cutthroat? That's my favorite song by J. That's my favorite song, period. I ain't gonna lie. Better watch your back, cause when you turn around, they cut your throat. Inside of her, but never can't let it show. On my life, I fuck with Go Look Up, J. The Youngin. He got shit with Young Boy, Young and Ace. Shout to Young and Ace. He another nigga who slept on. Go look Young and Ace up. And yeah, J.D. Younger, he that nigga on my life. All right, I ain't gonna lie. Roddy Rich. Uh, I don't really know where Roddy Rich from, though. I don't really know where Roddy Rich from, but he got some shit that I just been balling hard every season. Know with some niggas I left in the bleachers. Shout out to FBG Duck. Y'all be sleeping on Duck. Y'all be sleeping on Duck in the hole, FBG. All them niggas go crazy, bro, from Cash, Wooski, Young, Dutchie, Billionaire Black, uh, King Yellow. Y'all crazy as hell, nigga. Shout out to Swag and Nero, too, on my mama, bro. Y'all sleeping on Chicago. All them Chicago niggas, bro, going dumb. Y'all planning y'all ass. RP Little Mister, he was hot, too. Y'all bullshit. My mama, y'all planning y'all ass. Shout out to Lil Dirk too from Chicago, nigga Dirk, but he got his respects. But I feel like Dirk, a nigga who, I ain't gonna even lie, bro, like with the music that he got, he one of them niggas who, he just deserves just to be right a little bit higher in the industry, bro. Real shit. Uh, Swindle Gang, Chapo and Looney from Milwaukee. All racks, little nigga, all racks, all racks. And my mama, underrated as fuck. Shit, they doing what they do now, though. They going crazy now. I ain't gonna lie. I just seen them boys sign a deal or something. The boys getting in now. So, shit, shout out to Swindle Gang. Lotto Bands from Milwaukee. My little brother, y'all already know. Y'all probably don't know. This shit for underrated motherfuckers that y'all don't know about. Really. Y'all probably do. But some of y'all be sleep. And I'm trying to wake y'all the fuck up. And Lotto Bands, one of them niggas with that wordplay. One of them niggas who can rap fast in a bitch and slow it down and get the singing and doing all type of shit with his fat ass. Shout out to Baga. Tay 600. They be trying to blackball Tay. Saying all type of shit about Tay 600. Man, I fuck with Tay 600, bro. Tay 600 go hard, bro. Like, despite all that other shit, bro. Bro, Tay 600 go hard. Like, music wise, bro, that boy cold. And he one of them niggas who's supposed to be. In even though he is popping, he doing his thing, but he post the band. You feel me? He nice. Shout out to Powder Baby Dolo, man. Y'all know how he coming at Alien Mode. Last but not least, this young nigga, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like he go crazy. He already got a deal. I don't know him personally, but the nigga flow so eminem to me, bro. He so go, go so crazy. Like, when y'all go look him up, you go, I think he ripped one in the Eminem beats that, hi, my name is, mm, YBN Corday. On my mama, he signed to uh, rap a lot with J Prince now. Bro, go look up YBN Corday too, bro. He's stupid. I ain't gonna lie. I got a couple more names up here, but I'm gonna save him to the next episode, man. Make sure y'all tap in with me. 
Drop a comment in the box, cause I already got a list of motherfuckers who I'm already thinking about, you know what I mean? Putting on the next year dig. So, drop a comment in the box, man. Let me know who y'all feel like I left out. Like, underrated rappers, rappers who don't get the respect that they deserve. But make sure that they fresh and you're like, I don't wanna hear. We already know who the old, older guys who been doing their thing, who ain't been, ain't been no respect on their name for years. You feel me? Like, I don't want y'all getting in the box talking about Jelly Kiss and all my favorite rappers, Fabulous and all them. We know that. Drop some fresh meat so I can go look niggas up and go see what the fuck y'all seeing that I ain't seeing. Because I don't, I don't know everything. I'll be missing shit too. You feel me? So, leave a comment in the box. And let me know what rappers you feel like underrated. If your man's only got a hundred views and shit, man, you can drop his name and shit, but don't be mad if I don't put him on there, though. That don't mean he ain't hot. I want niggas who halfway popping. You feel me? Y'all know what it is, man. Black and Latin TV, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all know what it is. Gang shit, man. I love y'all. Don't forget, hit that link in the description, man. Buy my album. Because I could have made this whole thing about me. I go stupid. Stupid, stupid. Go buy my album. ITunes, Apple Music, Spotify, stream that bitch on YouTube, all that shit. Y'all know what it is. Hit that motherfucking bell, nigga. Let's go. Feeling like the old me. Tell my new bell, trying not to be the